secret is? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a secret. Forgive me. I just painted. Don't worry about my hands. Don't worry about all that. I'm gonna tell you a secret. You know those little Dollar Tree gift boxes? Sublimate on these boxes. Now it takes a little bit of trick. It takes some, it takes a little bit of maneuvering. But you can put your logo on these boxes and save yourself a lot of money, especially if you're just starting out. Um, if you're just starting out, trying to create a business, um, you know you want to keep your capital low. You want to keep your your overhead or the investment that you put in, you want to keep it low, um, especially on things like boxes, etc. You want to invest your money in other things like um, the heat press that you need, your sublimation machine, etc. So you want to keep price low on things like this. So I'm going to help you be able to sublimate on these boxes and put your logo or whatever you want. Um, if it's a little birthday gift for someone and you want to put their logo, their name and a picture on it, you can do so. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do so. Dear babies. Okay, babies. Here we go. This is your trick right here. Fast drying polyurethane clear coat. We're going to go ahead and paint this onto our box. We're going to let it dry for three to four hours. Then we're gonna do a second coat. So we're gonna do two coats and then we're gonna supplement. All right, so this right here is a small can. Uh, this is the eight ounce can. I got this from Hobby Lobby for $9 and was that? For $9.99, can you see that? Let's see, can you see that? Oh, glory. And also I miss it. So this is the fast acting, fast drying polyurethane clear gloss. And all I'm gonna do is take a little and paint it on my box. And in case you're wondering, you can also use those for like Christmas ornaments. Um, to add stuff to it. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Just use a brush and just paint it off. Alright, bestie, so we painted, painted it on there. You can see how it got a little glossy. dry for three to six hours. So we're gonna let it dry for three to six hours and then we will be able to sublimate on it. Alright, let's I'll see you back once it's dry. Alright guys so this is our box that we put that um polyurethane uh, polymer on um as you see it's all nice and shiny so now I have this on 397 my my heat press is on 397 uh, it's 400 but again mine is always stuck on 397 and then here is the picture so i'm gonna use this just for a valentine's day gift box for my husband um so i'm putting my picture on the front of it so we'll go ahead and put the picture down and i'm gonna tape with heat resistant tape
there are a couple pieces of butcher paper on there. press down and press our heat press for I have 45 seconds but we'll see all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and open it all right and let's remove our paper with your paper okay I don't know this is what it looks like All right, let's go ahead and pull it off and see if it worked. Okay, so some of it is sticking, so I may have done it for a little bit too long because the paper is actually sticking on here. Uh, the paper is actually sticking on it. Okay, guys, so we took off the paper, and this is what our box looks like. Um, I see right here that it's a little bit faded and I think it's because of the back where the back is pressed down I wasn't able to to put it in there but a quick fix for that next time is to make sure you put a pad in between but for the purposes of what I'm trying to do I think this came out amazing amazing and it'll be used thanks for watching